News 14 Carolina. Your news now. The president of the Charlotte Bobcats asking fans to have faith in their rebuilding process. The team just wrapped up yet another losing season and Tuesday the Bobcats front office fired first year coach Mike Dunlap. News 14 Carolina's Brad Broders caught up with Fred Whitfield at an event in Uptown Charlotte and has more on his goals for the organization and whether the Bobcats name could soon be buzzed out of town. Our fans have been very patient with us, and, and I thank them for that. In their eighth of nine off-seasons, the Charlotte Bobcats are again in reset mode after yet another losing non-playoff year, preparing for their third coach in as many seasons. Our fans, I think, understand what the plan is. They understand the philosophy. They under, they've watched our players develop some this year. Tuesday, following a post-year evaluation, team officials fired first-year coach Mike Dunlap after a 21-win, 61-loss season. Pro sports. You know, oftentimes if things just aren't the right fit, uh, changes need to be made. We caught up Wednesday with Bobcats President and Chief Operating Officer Fred Whitfield, who was on a panel on ethics and sports. The executive still believes certain factors make the Bobcats ripe for recovery, the addition of veteran players to complement the team's young core. There's a lot of salary cap flexibility. It's still there. Uh, there will be some free agents out in the free agent market this year and we'll have at least one top five pick this year. Then there's the possibility of the Bobcats changing their name back to the Charlotte Hornets. The team hired an outside consultant to decide whether a return to Hugo and Teal and Purple makes business sense long term. We're getting close. Uh, we're starting to gather all the data and uh, evaluate it. Uh, again, we wanted to make the most well-informed uh, recommendation to Michael on the name change. Whitfield said despite another tough losing season, the team is second in the league in new season ticket holders for next season, a season Whitfield hopes won't repeat the same losses and pleas for patience. In Charlotte, Brad Broder, News 14, Carolina. And the Charlotte Bobcats have just one winning record in their nine-year history. That in 2010, Mike Dunlap was the team's second coach to be fired after just one season.